What's up YouTube, Houston here, and for those of you just finding my YouTube channel, welcome. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and that bell. And for those of you that's been following me and supporting me, salute. And for my favorite patrons, always double salute. Now, today's video, we're actually going to be talking about Langley Credit Union. And so, people are saying that Langley is up there with uh, Navy Federal. Uh, and they're up there with um, Penn, um, Penn State, Pennsylvania State Employees Credit Union. They're saying that Langley is that credit union you want to be a part of. So we're going to find out exactly what it is that Langley has that's making them so popular right now. So the first thing about understanding Langley, they are able to do... Uh, multiple accounts with one inquiry. So he, here's the thing about it that's kind of confusing. Because some people say like you can use one inquiry to get multiple credit cards, but you can't use the same inquiry to get a personal line of credit. However, people also, what they've been doing is they've been going for the personal line of credit so say that their maximum on the personal line of credit is 40000 right? So they would say, hey, can I move 10000 of that 40000 over to one of the uh, credit cards? So that's what they've been doing. Now, how do you even join? The way that you're joining uh, Langley is through having a um, share savings account for $5. So what that means is that anybody can join. Anybody in the country can join Langley, which is very good. Now, in reference to average credit score, uh, 620 and up to get a regular credit card. So, I always tell people is to go for the Visa Signature Card. Because on average, usually the Visa Signature Card possibly could get you at least $5,000 starting out. Okay? Now, that being said... Here's the interesting thing about it, and this is what I keep telling people, is that like with banks and credit unions, they will give you one credit score, but they'll pull from another. So with Langley, right, they'll give you your FICO 8 credit score, okay, but they pull your FICO 5 credit score. You see how confusing that is? So you have no idea what's on your FICO 5 credit score. All right. So if you want to have a better understanding of what's your FICO 8, FICO 9, uh, the new scoring system, which is your FICO 10 or your FICO 5, which is usually with under the mortgage system and your FICO 2, which is under your mortgage system. Click the link in the description and get your real FICO score so you can know exactly what the credit unions and the banks are actually pulling. That way, you know those numbers. OK, because that's a bit confused. That's a lot of confusion for a lot of people. Like I said, these companies, they're giving you one scoring system, but they're not even using that scoring system. And actually, it's not fair. Right. Because they're not really doing you the favor if they're not telling you exactly what's going on. Now, the good thing, like with Navy Federal, they pull FICO 9 and they give you FICO 9. OK, but like Wells Fargo pulls what? Wells Fargo pulls FICO 9, but they um, actually will give you like a vantage score. That doesn't help you to understand what's going on with your credit file. So that's the reason I tell you, click the link in the description, get your real credit score. OK, so you know exactly what the banks are looking at. Now, here's another thing that a lot of people have been trying to join Langley, but they've been getting uh, denied. And a lot of times your uh, the reps won't tell you why you're getting denied. But if you have check systems frozen, you have to unfreeze your check systems, your unfreeze your Lexus Nexus. I would tell you to unfreeze the uh, third party credit bureaus like Clarity, Data X. Clarity, which is owned by Experian. Data X, which is owned by Equifax. I know some of you guys never even heard of these, but they're there, okay? A fact of trust, which is owned by TransUnion, all right? You need to unfreeze those because you never know where they're pulling from, 
All right, and what else are they checking? All right, now one of the bigger things to give you better leverage with Langley Credit Union is call and open up the account. Talk to somebody over the phone and let them walk you through the application to open up the account. And so since they're going to be doing a hard pull anyway, all right, so right then and there, I would apply for a, uh, maybe apply for a credit card and a line of credit. And like I said, they may say, hey, we do a separate hard pull for a line of credit. I don't know how true that is, but some people have been experiencing this. Now, it may be a bypass, but again, get them on the phone and see what happens for yourself. Now, the, if you're just starting out and you're just starting to build your credit or you have a low credit score and you're still trying to build a relationship with them, then the best card you want to get is the Essential Visa. This Essential Visa credit card right here is, this, is the one you want to get, okay, for you as an, a beginner. Now, I want to talk about uh, some, some things with you. Now, the Langley Visa uh, business credit card, that's another thing that I like about Langley because they do offer business accounts. They do offer business credit cards. So that's the reason that I would put them up in my top five with credit unions because they not only offer personal credit cards, but they offer business credit cards. So you're able to get more out of banks as uh, credit unions as well to get access to more money, especially if you're trying to fund your business. All right. Now, that being said, uh, let me give you some other data points. If at all possible, you want to open up not only just a savings account, but a personal checking account also. This is going to help you to be in good favor with them and then make weekly deposits. So wait, make, wait, make weekly deposits. And the reason is, is because the more accounts you have with a credit union these days, the more money they're willing to give you. So that's the reason why you actually want to do this okay now let me help you understand if you do not okay if you do not um let me say that again if if you do not let me back up right quick um sorry about that if you do not have um or you don't know your 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 FICO 5 score, okay? Then I'm going to share some other accounts with you that are probably much easier to get, all right? If you're not able to get into Langley Credit Union, okay? Now, let me uh, interject right here because I, I want to say something to the community as a whole. If you have family members that are struggling, okay, and that need financial assistance, help to get rent paid, to get food on the table and stuff. Here are some free resources to check out. Okay, some of these places actually, you may end up finding money, but I definitely want you all to know that these are some free resources uh, for you as well. Okay, now that being said, let's talk about some of these other uh, accounts uh, say that you may know your FICO 9 score. Now, again, I know it's confusing uh, because if you don't know your FICO 5, you may not know your FICO 9. But your FICO 9 is one of those uh, credit systems that's easier to build up because you can build it up with your um, subscriptions and rents and stuff like that, right? So, that being said, you have Upstart, all right? Upstart is FICO 9 soft pool to see how much you actually qualify for. And the good thing about it, it's in all 50 states. And one of the bigger challenges for like people in Connecticut, New York, to have these real strict, real um, restriction in terms of funding and stuff, this is one of those lenders you may want to take into consideration because you don't have to... Um, they're not really focused. Let me let me slow down. Okay, with Upstart, they're not really focused on the credit score. They're focused on how long you've been on the job. Uh, they're focused on your um, how long you've been at your residence. 
those are the things that makes that makes them more attractive and stuff because they're not really just looking at the credit score okay now you can borrow from a thousand up to fifty thousand uh, loans available. If you accept their loans now, they're going to do a hard pull maybe on your um, Experian and your TransUnion. One of, one of those, okay? So just so that you guys know. Um, their loans, their, you can borrow from 1000 to 50000 Loans are in 50 states, all 50 states as I said. Uh, your DTI. Now here's another thing, like some people may try to apply for a line of credit or something like that with Langley, right? But if you have a high DTI over 55%, they may deny you. That's also a variable because I've seen somebody say, well, I have this, I have this, I have this. But again, if you have a high debt to income ratio with, with most financial institutions over 55%, they'll deny you. Well, like with Upstart, they work with people. You may have a 70 Seventy percent. They work with people between seventy, seventy-five percent debt to income ratio. Now your uh, minimum gross annual income should be at least twelve thousand. Uh, you have to have valid email, phone, bank account. All right. So those are some of the uh, data points you need in order to get a loan from them. Now you also have credit loan. They don't focus on credit scores. That's the reason I'm sharing these with you. I know a lot of you all that follow me have seen this plenty of time, but for those of you that just found my YouTube channel, trying to figure out how to get funding and stuff like that, even if you have challenging credit, uh, this is the type of stuff you want to look at. Um, Creditloans.com, minimum, minimum uh, loans, they go from 250 up to 40,000. Uh, you have to have an active checking account. Uh, they don't operate, like I said, in New York and, the, and Connecticut, but they have a, uh, They state that they have up to a 90% chance of approval. Now, if you have bad credit, they will loan you up to 5000 Now, in reference to credit cards, here's another company. If you need a credit card and you have challenging credit, uh, you have the Patel 1 and Patel 2 cards. Now... They do a soft pull on your Experian 509, or you don't even have to have a credit score in order for them to work with you. Uh, now their loans go from 300 to 5,000 on the Patel one, and from 300 to 10,000 on the Patel two, and it reports to all three credit bureaus. But again, they're focused on education. They're focused on how long you've been on a job, uh, how long you've been at your residence. Those are the things that they're focused on and help and, and to determine, excuse me, long, long conversation, uh, helping you determine how to get qualified, okay? Now, you also have Upgrade. Upgrade, they do somewhat focus on the credit score, but the minimum credit score is a 560. Average credit score is a 678. Does that mean you have to have a 678? No. Uh, but that's their average, so it's just data points, people. Uh, their loans go from uh, 500 to 50,000 with their loans and credit cards. Minimum uh, income, uh, average income is 78, 78,000. But that does not mean you have to be making 78,000. But you do need at least two trade lines on the credit file. Their debt to income ratio is 75%. Now, unfortunately, they don't operate in the following states. And they don't charge a new annual fee. Now, if you have more questions about business credit funding, personal credit funding, how to restore your personal credit, build up your business credit, click the link in this description to schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Thank you.